To see how familiar a Western consumer would find shopping in Korea, we followed Agnes Rowe on a trip to Home Plus's Young Dong Po store. In Korea, it's natural to find ginseng prominently on display. Freshly made tofu is also an in-store attraction. Rice is a staple part of the diet, and in Korea you can have it milled as you choose on the spot. And any combination you like of these 37 grains and seeds can be mixed and ground into your own choice of health drink powder. One of the things as we've expanded around the world that um, is held very dear is the fact that customers in different markets are very different. Markets operate in very different ways, both financially and culturally, and that local product and local product trends are very important for customers. There are some markets where uh, almost a cookie cutter approach does work, and you can say, all right, we want the same product across everywhere. But even, even there, the examples that people tend to give, whether it's McDonald's or Coca-Cola or whatever, they're not quite as cookie cutter as you think when you look beneath the surface. You know, McDonald's have different product formulations and different service formats in each country. Coke has a different formulation in each country of the world. And I think for us, it's about taking the learnings from those local teams is, is very important to, to understand the marketplace. Seafood is a major component of the healthy Korean diet, emphasizing that freshness is vital for the retailer as well as the customer. Many Korean women are not working. They are staying at home to support their husband and the children. Most of the children and husbands like to have a meal in, um, for the dinner at home. So uh, our uh, the meal star is to cook the fresh food boiled and uh, make soup using vegetables. So the customer visits the store one or twice a week to buy the fresh food. That's why uh, we think it is uh, very, the fresh food, uh, freshness is so uh, important to in Korea. Uh, some uh, competitors failed in that because they didn't know uh, the lifestyle of uh, Korean people. With a lifestyle that values freshness and a thriving local market structure, Samsung Tesco deliberately echo the style of market trading in their stores. But how successful is this competition? A traditional market compared to this kind of a hypermarket, they cannot decrease the price because we have a scale merit. And also they have uh, the hygienic problem. They do not sell in cold device right, the food. So the people become to notice that uh, it's not hygienic. There are many more staff on the floor in Korea than in the UK. And twice a day, those staff step out from behind the counter.
Not everything in Home Plus is unfamiliar to the European, but there's one more uniquely Korean item that's central to their cuisine. Kimchi is a range of fermented and spiced cold dishes in several flavours. It's served with every Korean meal, including breakfast, and it needs to be kept at a precise cool temperature to ensure correct fermentation. That leads us to discover more about the Samsung Tesco hypermarket concept. This is a multi-storey shop. On another floor, together with the other hard lines, as well as US-style freezers, they're selling refrigerators, specially designed for kimchi. To have a choice of brands, as you have here, is actually one of the biggest revolutions that Western retailing has brought to Korea. In Korea, the electronic goods supply chain is, has been established by the manufacturer. So uh, one manufacturer has their own distribution channels. So the customer, when, when the customer visits the, that shop, they can just see one brand. But if the customer visits our store, they can see all kinds of brands in our store. So it is very beneficial to the customer, I think. Even in the hardline section, there are still differences. Rabbits aren't normal stockkeeping units in a UK Tesco. But Home Plus is much more than a grocery retailer. As well as providing a creche for the harassed shopper to entertain their offspring, and a basement cultural centre with an internet cafe, adult education classes and regular storytelling groups, there's a value creation centre where customers are encouraged to drop in, sample products under development and give their detailed opinions. I think the objective of the supply chain is to um, improve service level for least cost, to uh, create uh, the value for customer. to earn uh, their lifetime loyalty. This is the core purpose of Tesco Group. I think it can play an important role to achieve our core purpose. <laughs>